Good afternoon, folks. Well, it has happened again. The sun gave Earth a little nudge and the Earth was significantly disturbed. We'll go over this and more here, starting with what happened today. We hit level 4 storm conditions this morning, and there's absolutely no reason why that should have happened. Nobody was expecting this. Not me, not NASA, not NOAA. Nobody. The sun had a filament release on the departing limb on the right about three days ago, and it did send a CME into space that was mostly directed away from the Earth. Coronagraph showed the chance of a glancing blow, a little nudge off the edge of that eruption. If it had been a head-on blast aimed directly at Earth, maybe we could have expected a level 2 or 3 solar storm. Maybe, but not level 4, and definitely not from a blast that wasn't even directly fired at us. We took the very edge of the eruption cloud, pretty much exactly as the endless spiral had predicted would happen. But of course, that's where the accuracy of the predictions ended. Whether it was the eruption itself, the direction of the blast, or the solar wind data we showed you this morning from when the impact began, nothing about this event says we should have taken this high of a disruption. Just to give you a bit of a better idea of that, here are the last three updates from the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center. Level 1 storm expected. Then, within the hour, levels 3 and 4 were reached, more than two orders of magnitude higher than forecasts. Folks, Space weather is not an exact science, but it's not supposed to be like shooting at a black cat in an unlit coal mine. While most in the solar activity community are wondering what just happened, observers already know. We have shown and described and predicted these types of events would occur regularly for almost a decade. Earth's magnetic field is weakening in the magnetic pole shift, the geomagnetic excursion, and this is as good an example as any that our planet has become exceedingly vulnerable to the sun. We're lucky it was not a bigger event. And this brings me back to last month's solar storms. We took a triple impact from X1 through X3 events, and despite their fairly regular and expected magnitude in terms of solar eruptions, the solar storm conditions at Earth broke records. Some of the aurora even outperformed the 1859 Carrington event superflare. This would not have been possible without the weakening magnetic field of Earth. But after that sunspot turned out of view, it unleashed an X-12 on the far side, and folks, I can say we are very lucky. If that had been included among the other impacts we did take, if it had not been on the far side, that would probably have been game over for the global grids. Back to the Stone Age we'd go. This is happening far too often, the obvious weakness of our planetary magnetic defense. We've still got a lot of sunspot maximum left to go. We'll have a special solar report coming on July 1st for members of the Observer Review. Subscribe to our monthly e-magazine to get that report, the June edition that came out two weeks ago, and you'll be getting the next editions as they roll out each month. Sign up at the link below. Learn more about the pole shift as well. Subscribe here for daily updates, and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.